You ready, witch? Yeah, I'm coming. So, um, you two were up pretty early. We woke up and didn't see you guys. Where did you go off to this morning? Oh, well, we didn't want to wake you two. We just headed by Toad's place to thank him again for last night, then went into town for a bit to take care of some things before we left. Nana! Really, Ma? <laughs> After all that? I know, I know. It looks like I've lost it, especially after last night. But you haven't seen the side that I saw. They really can be sweet, believe it or not. I hope we didn't worry you two this morning, though. Worried? Nah, after the wallop we gave them, they'll be out of commission for a while. <laughs> it's a shame that they're just going to continue their ways with that father of theirs, unfortunately. Even if they don't seem like it, at the end of the day, they're still kids. And no matter what, I believe with the right influence and guidance, they can do better. Most importantly, though, they need someone to listen to them and encourage them to feel good about themselves. Hi, you two! How was school? Hi, Mama! A school was okay. Ouija's sad, though. What's wrong? So, the whole school takes part in a drawing for the school calendar. Our grade got March, and Ouija's sad because his drawing didn't get picked. Oh dear, I'm sorry, honey. I know you're sad, but you can always try again next year. I don't want to try again. I, I, I worked really hard already. And, and no, nobody likes my drawing. It, it's ugly. That's not true, Luigi. I think it looks wonderful. Y you do? Of course. I can see all the work you put into it. Tell me, what do you like about your drawing? Well, I guess I like the clouds because they look really fluffy. The sun also looks kind of nice too. I experimented and mixed the colors together. I really like the clouds too. And you did an excellent job experimenting. Oh, uh, and I, I like this guy here. Uh, some of the kids in my class thought it was funny that he got punked in the head. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. But wait, I thought you said nobody liked your drawing. If your class liked it, and I did, then it's not ugly after all, right? Huh, I guess so. See? Picked or not, it still made people happy. Try not to be so hard on yourself, honey. Yeah, okay. I have an idea. Why don't we make our own calendar? It can be a fun little family art project. You and your brother can do all the drawings, and I can help put it together for you. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds like fun! And you know, the holidays are coming up. So maybe we can make some copies and you can give them out as a gift. What's one thing you need in the new year? A calendar! Oh boy, and this is gonna be so much fun! Uh, we can give to daddy's friends, a nono, a nonna, a zia, and my teacher, and they're gonna be so happy! <laughs> Why don't you put together a list so you don't forget, hmm? Okie dokie, I'm gonna go do that right now! I'll go tell Mario! Hey Mario, mama said we're making our own calendar for Christmas! You wanna come help? Once we get home, we'll take it easy. It's not often that your father moves so quickly. Unless he's at an empty pasto bar. Mm. A man of many words. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Luigi? Practice was... It was... Whatever! Uh, look, I'd rather not get into it, Dad. Let's just... Go home. I have a report in junk to work on. <sighs> Luigi, it's fine if you don't want to talk about it. I won't push you to tell me. I know school can be stressful, especially at your age. The pressure to fit in weighs down on you. Everybody has something to say about everything you do or don't do. So, whether you were teased about something, you made a mistake, or someone doesn't want to hang out with you, just know that there are people who appreciate you, Luigi. And I'm sorry you had a bad day. Thanks, Dad. Don't mention it. <laughs> Usually when I talk, I tend to make things worse. 
glad this went well. I, uh, I'm sorry if at times I don't make things easier for you. Imagine if those Koopas knew I had the key last night. I can feel the gray hairs growing. Okie dokie, let's get a move on. No, not like this. I hear you guys talking, but you're not saying anything. Are we really leaving things like this? What? No, Luigi. We just thought it would be best when we got home. If you want to now, that's fine. This morning we- Ma, please. I would like to talk. All right, so the thing is, you guys were just... Oh, wow. Wait, no, I mean... Uh, um, I... I'm sorry! I really didn't mean the things I said. You're great parents. I took a few unpleasant moments and pushed all the good things you did for me aside. <laughs> I do care for you guys, but I just didn't want to be treated like a little kid anymore. And yes, I'm aware of the irony as I blubber. <laughs> Last night was all my fault. The amount of guilt I'd have if something happened to you two would just eat away at me. The sad thing here is that the Koopas showed more appreciation than I ever did. <laughs> I should be banished to the lava pits for this mess. I'm sorry for being a terrible son. Oh, sweetheart, don't say that. It's alright. We're the ones who are sorry. We did wrong by you. You were right to be upset with us. Being upset is one thing, but this was... I should have just handled things better. I'm not happy with what you guys did, but at the same time, hurting you wasn't the right thing either. True, but you know, in the heat of the moment, it's normal, Luigi. We're family. We're gonna be upset with each other at times. Your mother and Zia are a prime example. See? But the important thing is that we listen to one another, work through the problems, and, well, learn from our mistakes. We had the best intentions for this situation. We really did. It just... didn't work out the way we hoped, unfortunately. Well, since we're talking, I gotta apologize to you both as well, Ma. I should have been honest with you instead of being sneaky. Not sure how much of that verbal throwdown was the spell, but we deserved all of it. Oh, honey, no! That magic trick was meant to twist things around. I don't know how it all works, but those aren't my real thoughts and feelings towards you two. What about the lack of visits and phone call thing? It seemed pretty on point. <sighs> that part was true. I was hurt about it. It's my fault, though. I pushed you both away with my smothering, and I, I'm i so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just... hard. You can say time flies when you look back on your own life, but when you're a parent, that time goes by even faster when looking at your children. Still, I should have accepted things. You're not little kids anymore. You're grown, and I'm proud of the men you've become. So I'm going to do better by you, and build a proper relationship with you both, as adults. Really appreciate it. But you know, we could also learn to lighten up on our end as well. Nothing wrong with a hug, you know? And if it's alright with you, maybe we could do dinner again, every Sunday. Of course! Thank you both! Huh? Hey, Dad. Hmm? I want to thank you for all your help last night. And, again, I'm sorry for what I said. I should have given you more credit. Eh, that's alright. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you. And for not being that good a father to you. Don't be silly, you are. And you know what? Hmm? I appreciate you. 
Oh, sorry. Is your back still sore? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa! That's uh, what I like to see. Glad that the Marios are on good terms again. Now let's uh, head back to Brooklyn, shall we? Okie dokie. Thank you, but we got this, Luigi. Uh, are you being passive with me? Of course not. It's just best you stay back since you have other things to take care of, remember? As I was saying earlier... This morning we also dropped by Daisy's parents' place. We didn't want to leave without fixing things on our end. So we talked things over and agreed to put this mess aside. And also got a sincere apology for all that happened. Now it's your turn to set things right. With them. And Daisy. Thanks, Ma. See you on Sunday. Oh boy. Uh, hi, Daisy. So there you are. Huh, literally came with your tail between your legs, I see. Kinda figured you'd be here earlier, though. Why so late? Well, I needed some time to reflect on things and make sure that I got my thoughts together. I also stopped on the way to take care of something, which took longer than anticipated. And do you know what happened? <laughs> well, I'll tell you! That young man ended up in the pit of not 100, but 1,000 trials for such behavior. Believe you me, that wasn't the end of it. You see... Blah, 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 you blah, think blah, we could blah, get blah, an intermission? Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> yep, that'll do it. All right, I'll give you a break and listen instead. Take it away, Green Stash. All right. I guess I'll just start from the beginning. It's no secret that I'm a nervous wreck of a person. Asking you out months ago was... scary. Being in my brother's shadow, I was usually overlooked. So, I have this view of myself as not being good enough. Not many would notice or pay much attention to me. But you did. When you said yes, well, that meant the world to me. That whole night did, despite my fumbling. Our date even turned into a late night rescue where I was able to prove myself. Since that night, I enjoyed our time together. Every minute of it, you and me. I felt... Lucky to have found someone to be with in this way. I felt I gained some confidence with you. Or at least, what I thought was confidence. Because once you mentioned meeting my parents, I, I panicked. I was afraid your view of me would change. You wouldn't see me as your hero anymore. Just back to that wimpy guy on our first date. That confidence was just me hiding silly things about myself. Things I shouldn't have been ashamed of, including my parents. They are a part of me, and meeting them was a milestone. That meant you were serious about the relationship. That you cared for me. But because things weren't going the way I wanted, I took it out on everyone. Even you. I was scared of this change, this serious move. I just wanted it to be us. But that's not how this works, nor is any of this a good excuse for my actions. I I'm sorry for being so selfish, and for my remarks about your dad. I'm sorry I wasn't better to you, Daisy. Thanks, Luigi. I do appreciate it. And I get it. It's just, things shouldn't have to blow up in your face for you to just talk to me. You can't keep worrying that I'm gonna think differently of you. All this hiding and sneaking around, it isn't you. So yeah, pushing me away when I tried to help, it did hurt. And you're so lucky I didn't box you! I wanted to knock everyone over like dominoes! Ugh, seriously frustrating. I'd rather take the legit punch to the gut than the verbal one. <sighs> Come on, Weege. By the time I got all the info, things already hit the fan. It wasn't just you in the middle of this, you know? I tried really hard to fix things and... 
I reached my limit, so I am sorry for the blowout. And I do believe I'm fair enough to give this another chance. Besides, a breakup only really counts if it's been past 48 hours. Wait, really? Let's consider this one of the unwritten rules of dating. You mean? Happy three months. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I promise to be more open with you. I won't let things escalate like this again. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> so, is this the part where we go inside to make up? <gasps> oh, jeez, sorry. That was just a joke. You're better at this naughty thing than I am. I'd say it's your timing. Mommy? Hi, King Richard! Queen Lillian! The next lovely royals I came to see this evening! Uh, about the other day, I... Oh, just save it already, lad! You said enough! Because... I... I would like to apologize for the mess I caused. The other night, I said some unflattering things towards you to your father. Things I'm not proud of. I tend to focus on what's best for my kingdom in terms of leading, that at times I forget you're your own person, a person that makes my daughter happy, which is the most important thing, and something that should be my main focus. I meant to apologize to you when you came by, but that whole interaction was confusing to say the least, lad. Uh, my listening skills could be better. And as a parent myself, I should have known better than to overstep my boundaries. Therefore, I will work on doing better. The egg on my face is rightfully deserved. I just hope you can forgive me. I appreciate it, sir. That's really big of you. It looks like we both have something to work on. Daisy will keep us both in check, I'm sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're not in a hurry, dear, why don't you come in for something to eat? Maybe we can also give this a fresh start. Huh? We had a long talk. I would like that. Bravo, Luigi! Bravo, Luigi. Bravo. Bravo.